How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video I'm going to show you how to get your HP LaserJet printer hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. We're going to be going over three different ways to do it. Number one is the easiest and I recommend trying that first and then if that doesn't work, skip to number two. And if that doesn't work, hopefully number three will help you out. Specifically, the model printer we're going to be working on is the HP M102W, which is this beautiful guy right here. But these same methods will work with a lot of HP LaserJet printers, such as the M107W, M15W, M118DW, probably a lot of desk jets and inkjets and all-in-ones that don't have a navigation screen on it and just have like Wi-Fi buttons. A lot of the technology overlaps, so even though this isn't exactly your printer, hopefully some of these methods will work for you. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't throw the printer out the window just yet. Give me a couple of minutes of your time and hopefully one of these methods will get your HP printer hooked up to your Wi-Fi network. The first way we're going to set this up on a Wi-Fi network is using the built-in WPS function. Wi-Fi protected setup. This is the easiest way to do it and I recommend trying this first just because it's a lot easier and you'll see when you look at the second more pain in the butt method. Turn your printer on and it should be just blinking blue, meaning that it's looking for Wi-Fi signals, but it's not connected to anything. We're gonna activate the WPS mode on this printer and then we're gonna activate WPS mode on my router. They're going to link and they will connect. So in order to get the printer in WPS mode, we're going to hold this Wi-Fi membrane button. One, two, three, four, five let go it should blink with a green and a blue button as before it was just blinking with a blue button then you're going to go over to your wi-fi router mine's an asus you're going to activate the wps depending on your brand it might be in a different spot ours however is right here on the side i just have to hold that wps button down on my router my power button will start blinking that opens up my network for a temporary amount of time for a device that's searching for the network with WPS to connect to the router. If you have one of the newer Orbi mesh routers, you might have to hold the sync button down in order to activate WPS. Going to blink for a while, but eventually I'm going to get a solid blue light. And once we get the solid blue light, we are connected to our network. There we go. We got the solid blue light. We are now connected to our network. Now for the second way to set up your HP LaserJet printer on your Wi-Fi network, we're going to be using an iPad. You can also do this from an Android phone. It's pretty much the same process. You'll just have to download the app from the Play Store instead of on the App Store like we're going to do on the iPad. Printer is on, the Wi-Fi is blinking. I will see you guys on the iPad. You're gonna wanna go to the App Store and type in HP Smart App and it's right here, five star, two million. You're gonna to wanna to download that. Gonna hit open. And this is what you're gonna be using for an initial setup for a printer that hasn't been set up to any other network in the past. If you're trying to connect your printer to a new network or you moved or something, you might have to try option three if this one doesn't work. So we're gonna hit continue. We don't need to give them our data. We're gonna hit no there. Here it says, what do you want to do, sign in? No, we're gonna set up a new printer and it's asking to use Bluetooth. We're gonna hit okay, swipe down, turn Bluetooth on. Some printers can connect via Bluetooth and set up settings that way. Your printer may or may not allow that. Mine did not find my printer via Bluetooth, so we're just going to go to set up new printer, allow while using this app, allow. So we're gonna have to go to our Wi-Fi settings and select HP setup on the Wi-Fi list. I'm going to swipe up to get out of the app I'm gonna go to settings, which is the gear icon right here. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi and you're looking for an HP setup Wi-Fi network. There's no password on it. Mine's right here, M102 LaserJet. Yours might be a different name and number depending on your model. And I'm just going to click it and connect to that Wi-Fi network. I'm now going to swipe up to get out of that, get back into my HP smart app and now it is automatically detecting the printer because we are connected to the Wi-Fi network that the printer is emitting. So I guess it pulled from the iPad the, the network that we most connect to, but if for some reason that's not the correct network, you could hit change network, you can scroll through here, pick any of the networks that you wanna to connect to. Ours is eight foot ceilings 5G, 
and we're going to type in our password. You wanna make sure you get this correct. It is case sensitive, it needs to be exactly correct, and you're going to hit continue. That's basically going to tell the printer what the Wi-Fi you want it to connect to is called and what the password is. And while it's programming your printer, you're gonna notice that your blue light goes from blinking, it eventually will go to solid. There we go, we have a solid blue light. We're going to hit continue. This printer is now on our network. We can share it with our Mac, we can share it with our Windows, we can share it with our Android tablets and phones and all those will work with this printer now. For Android, you're going to have to download this thing called HP Print Service Plugin. For Apple devices, you should be able to just open up the file you wanna print. Go to the square with the up arrow, scroll down to print. And then using the air print driver, it should automatically find everything. And you should be able to just send that sucker right over to your printer and you are good to go. If this doesn't work, then there is a third method that hopefully will be able to get you onto the Wi-Fi network. And I'm gonna show you that right now. This is the third method. Last but not least, we're going to direct Wi-Fi connect into the printer, get into the settings, manually change the Wi-Fi settings on the printer, and hopefully get it connected to your wireless network. I'm gonna do this through the iPad. You can do it through a computer, you can do it through a phone, you can do it through a tablet. We're just using the iPad for demonstrational purposes. So you're going to go to your gear, Wi-Fi. Depending on your printer, it's gonna be different, but it's gonna be direct, HP and then some numbers and mine's laser jet. I'm gonna click on that. The default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you're gonna hit join. If you don't see that Wi Fi network, there might be a button on your printer to activate that network. You're gonna have to maybe do some Googling to figure that out, but my printer is emitting that signal right now, so I'm able to connect to it. Now you're going to open a browser and you're going to navigate to 192.168.223.1, and then you're going to hit enter. So we're connected to the printer, and this is like a setting backdoor menu to the printer, still on the user side, but it's hopefully how we're gonna get the printer connected to the Wi-Fi. You're gonna go over here to networking, and then you're going to go to wireless configuration. You're gonna make sure your status is on. Join an existing wireless network, that's fine. 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, that's good. And then you're going to navigate to your Wi-Fi that you wanna connect it to and mine is called eight foot ceilings 5G, and then you're going to type in your password. Ours is year of the ox, come hack me bro. You can hit this little show characters thing to make sure that you are indeed typing in the correct password. It is case sensitive and you wanna make sure that it is correct, and then you're going to hit apply down there your light will be blinking, but as soon as it connects, you will get a solid blue light. It may say status not activated, but as long as you have the blue light, you are good to go. I'm now going to disconnect from the direct Wi-Fi back to my normal Wi-Fi network, and I'm going to send a test print to the printer by opening up my file, going up here to the arrow up, and hitting print. Go to select printer, and there's our printer, hit print. It should send a signal to the printer. And we are on our network. You can now install this printer on all your other devices if you want to by going to 123.hp.com on those devices and then installing it either with an app or with a driver, depending on what you're on, maybe a Mac, a Windows, or a PC or whatever. Mac, Windows, Android device. But hopefully this was helpful. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing. If for some reason you still aren't able to get this connected, let me know about it in the comment section below and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.